Welcome back everyone, I'm Shortcut Sherry and we're back for another Tip Tuesday. We are continuing our task management series with Microsoft Planner and today's tip is about how to manage your attachments in Planner. Before we get started with the actual tasks, I want to remind you where the content is stored within a Microsoft plan. When you create a planner board or a team and attach the plan to the team, there is a SharePoint site behind the scenes that stores all of that information. So if you're wondering where those attachments are going when you attach them to a task, let me show you. From your planner board, click the More Options button at the top of the window. And one of the options you have in there is Sites. This is the sales and marketing site that's tied to this plan. The documents that are being stored here are in the document library. Remember, this is also tied to a team. Let me go back to Planner as well. And this time from the More Options button, we're going to choose Microsoft Teams. Notice the names of the channels. We have General, Monthly Reports, and Recruiting. This is very important to note because in our sales and marketing documents behind the scene, we have a folder for each one of the channels. If you'd like to share documents, you can share them here. And this would be my best practice recommendation. Add your documents to the channel that this plan applies to. So I have resumes for Krista, Jeff, and Dan. If I go back to Planner, I'm going to add an attachment to Dan. Click Add Attachment from my Teams files. It's going to take me to the main document library. Here are those same folders, General, Monthly Reports, and Recruiting. And here is Dan's resume. No need to save, it automatically saves it for you. So I'm just going to close the task. Let's do the same for Krista. Add attachment from Teams file, recruiting, Krista. We now have their resumes attached. There are other types of attachments as well. We can add from our computer, we can add from Teams files, or we can add a link to a URL. An example of a URL might be somebody's LinkedIn profile. If I click a link to a URL, where would we find that URL? I'm going to go out to the internet. I've actually pulled up Dan's profile here in LinkedIn. I'm going to copy this address, and we'll paste that back in the Planner tab. It automatically puts in the HTTPS and it will remove it if it's included in what you paste. And the text you display is definitely helpful to change, otherwise you just get this long, ugly URL in the address. And click Add. Now whoever's looking at him as a candidate has quick access to his resume and his LinkedIn profile. Notice the show on card options that are here. I'm just going to add to the checklist. And note what has been completed. Let me give you some caution on a possible pitfall. I'm going to go to Karenberg. Let's say I already have her resume, but I do not have it added to my Teams files. Under Add Attachment, I have the option to upload it from my computer. So if I go to my Documents, notice I have her resume, and click Open. It automatically saves the attachment. You can see the progress. Where did that file go? This is the pitfall. When you upload it from your computer, it doesn't ask you where you want to save it. So where did it go? Let's go look at the sales and marketing recruiting site, and I'm going to go back up one level to Documents. 
that file gets saved in this main document folder. It does not get attached to the channel for recruiting. You don't have any control of where that file gets saved. So be sure when you are creating and adding attachments, best practice, either add it to the folder here in the SharePoint site or add it to the channel files within Teams before you attach it to a card. That's my tip for this week, adding attachments to your planner tasks. Next week, we're gonna talk about labels because labels are how we can create secondary ways of organizing your tasks. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out some of the great events that we have coming up. Until next time, I'm Shortcut Sherry, and it's my job to make your job easier.